Hi, I'm Koen Sevenhans. I'm 40 years old. I'm from Belgium. And I'm the founder and general director of the non-profit organization Morning Tears. Morning Tears is a charity organization. It specifically cares for children uh, whose parents are in prison. In China alone, there are today more than 600,000 children who have a parent in prison and who have an urgent need of assistance. Once you are a childhood and parents in prison, you have about six times more chance to end up in prison yourself than any other child. At uh, the age of the infancy, very young children, they have to learn what attachments are. They have to learn to love somebody and to be loved. And if you don't learn it at that age, then you will, for the remains of your life, not be able to love somebody or to get loved by somebody. So it's not only the number of children, but also the suffering of the individual children, which make this cause of morning tears worthwhile to fight for. And that's what we're doing here in China and other countries and on an international level. We started actually in 1998 and as a general director most of my tasks are uh, fundraising but also political contacts and setting up new projects. Uh, the most important part of income for Morning Tears uh, is of course private donations. But of course we also search institutional funding like funding from governments and from the EU. One of the major issues uh, that we face now in contemporary China's child protection scene is actually the issue of suicide. For us it's important that we help the government uh, through a number of training systems uh, to create awareness about this problem in the first place, but also the professionals who work in child protection and who come in contact with the highest amount of children at risk, that they also know how to recognize suicide warning signs and how to stop children and adolescents from killing themselves. We're here now in, in the Coming Home project, uh, which is located in uh, Chengzhou city. The children in the Morning Tears Coming Home project are living in many ways actually quite like other children in, in this country. Uh, they go to school, they have to do their homework, they have to help a little bit in the household, they eat at regular times. There are some differences of course, like they do prison visits as well and uh, because they have some problems they, they, they need some therapy to overcome uh, the problems they face. Most of the children that we work with, they have a feeling of shame, they have a feeling of guilt, uh, they have a feeling that they should have protected their mother or father who is in prison now better. Um, so we try to make them feel good again. Uh, for example, we do some exercises to help them re-identify themselves uh, with their own body. Uh, besides that, we also celebrate their birthdays, which give them a sense of identity. Uh, we also go on holidays. So we try to give them kind of a normal life, except that they are not living with one child and one family. So they are actually very social children. I try to paint, because when you are confronted all the time with, with the hardship of children, and also with the caregivers who suffer from those things and those terrible stories, you, you need to take care of yourself. The painting is indeed almost finished. It represents one of the morning tears children. Basically, the, the, the girl has two dices, just a one and a two. And you know when you play with dices, you don't choose. It's just uh, good luck or bad luck. And that's also the issue with the morning tears children, basically. They never chose for what happened in their lives. I, I don't believe that actually always the destiny of what you do in your life is, uh, is totally a choice of yourself. You, know, you get confronted with certain situations 
uh, and, and, and these situations you don't choose, but these situations make you do things. Fifteen years ago, actually, that uh, by coincidence I came across uh, some of these children, and it's like those children almost chose me now. I felt very honored that they let me into their world to help them. So if I could choose one word, it would be a wish for the children. And that wish would be that the children would be resilient. Resilience means that they would be able to overcome the troubles they meet in their life, that they would be able to overcome the obstacles, and that they would be strong. That they would be strong today as a child, and they would grow up being strong adults.